All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, one of the popular misconceptions, especially in the middle class, is that is that idea that one is not earning enough to grow money. Everyone wants to double their money. Fortunately, there are ways to multiply your money that don't involve get-rich-quick uh, schemes or <laughs> winning a lottery. Now, these legitimate ways to create wealth do not require massive amounts of money or income to get started. So what are some of the ways that you think we can start to explore, I mean, to make our money work for us in 2023 and earn more money because we truly need this, right? Um, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. All right, so I just wanted us to quickly run through because I know Jennifer is the investment guru. <laughs> 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 it's only liver and kidney that Jennifer is not invested in. <laughs> you know, Jennifer always... She's always saying, oh, she's she invested in one thing. She's waiting for one something to mature. I don't know. I don't know about you, Chinelo. Uh, well. you know? <laughs> so, so what do you think, uh, quickly, because I want to bring in, um, Kathleen in, in, like, in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Um, uh, making your money work for you in 2023. What, what, which areas are you looking at? Hmm. <laughs> <Now> who, <laughs> I mean, um, aside side hustles, because I think those are becoming like full-time work mm -hmm. these days. Um, basically investments, yeah, because um, I really want to understand more about money, about investments, and how to split my income monthly, because I also noticed that I spent a lot last year on things that were not really necessary for me, and this year I'm trying to be more prudent and to be able to keep enough funds so that it could um, grow. For me, I don't, I don't invest for short-term purposes. I invest for like long-term purposes. So I want to learn more and fully understand that aspect of it. Because sometimes when it comes to finances, people are very, very skeptical and very sketchy mm -hmm. about those kind of conversations. So I'm very happy that Kathleen is here today because I have questions. Yes, though. She's <laughs> <laughs> <No>, a personal person. <laughs> Chinele, how about you? Yeah, I, I always say, I, well, I've been saying that 2023 is the year where we become financially free mm. and independent. So I, I think also considering to be a silent partner in a business is also one way that you can mm. make your money work for you by the time the company starts to yield. So on that note, if you're interested in being a silent partner, Jennifer and Wa, come and invest in my business. <laughs> so <laughs> I was just going to say, when you said silent partner, I asterisked it because you, you have to be silent partner to a business that has... <laughs> We're going to bring in Kathleen. Now, Kathleen is the owner and the CEO of Kudimata Nigeria Limited, uh, Penny, Pen, Penyo Consult Limited, and, Pe and Poi Finishing School. There's a lot of P there. P or yeah. Finishing School. Now, she was the executive director and chief marketing officer at Hope PS Bank and the deputy general manager at Keystone Bank Nigeria Limited. She also worked in key managerial positions at Access Bank PLC for 15 years, extending her extensive banking experience to over 26 years. Now, Kathleen has established herself as a change agent by promoting basic financial um, education in Nigeria through her institution, Kudimata, um, a financial community where money, questions, problems, concerns are addressed. And you can see that is why we brought her here today. And she's joined us looking very dapper, very beautiful, live in studio. So just for the record, Kitley is going to be very frequent here because this year we are very focused on the money. Yeah. We want to make sure that um, at every point in time we're making the right decisions. We're making our money go to the market and bring some some returns for us. That's the goal. Um, sometimes you don't have to have too many. Mm. Um, you don't have to have too much. But with the little you have, what are the best decisions that you are taking that is driving you know the policy for the money so thank you so much again Caitlin mm -hmm. or Kathleen rather for joining us I mean so this is an interesting conversation because money mm -hmm. issues are things that every time people talk about it it gets people's attention right but we just don't want to get people's attention we want to get people's actions mm -hmm. as well you know so I mean first of all let's break down the common misconceptions that you think uh, around money and investment. So Jennifer talked about investments. Um, Chinelo talked about silent partners and all of that. Do those things really bring some form of re return, yield to you? You know, so if you have lose money, are those really areas you should look out for or you have alternative um, suggestions? Okay. Um, those two um, 
options are um, options that are available to everyone mm -hmm. in making for them to have good returns for their money. But before you start to choose any options, actually you need to understand yourself, your finances, your goals, your budget, and your sources of income. When you understand that, then you know exactly where to put the money for investment and what you expect to get back. So it all begins with understanding yourself first, your financial goals and how you want to achieve them, when you want to achieve them. When you have that, then you are, you are clear on where exactly to put money. Yes, those are some of the options and there are many more as mm. we come in. So it's interesting. So why do you say that it's important for us to know yourself? Hmm. You know, in this life, as I'm sitting here, hmm. my money needs are different from her Hello. own. They're different from Jennifer's own. They're different from your own. Hmm. I could have a hundred thousand naira, hmm. and it's enough for me hmm. to run my life for a month because I, ha I don't have additional needs, just myself. When we think of Shinelo, Chinelo could have children, mother, father, to use that 100,000 naira for. So her needs are different. Jennifer, just herself and her brother. You. So for every individual, the needs are different. So when you, you need to understand yourself, what you need for your money, for you to plan. So your next neighbor's need and plan may not necessarily be your own. So, so you, you must know that. <laughs> Not follow your neighbor. Because it's plan interesting your money. how you're saying this. Because investors come and they just give blanket solutions. So what I'm hearing you speak is is to personalize your your whatever how you want your to needs, money, your budget, on, your financial yes. goals. Mm. When you personalize your financial goals and your budget, then you can start to plan mm. each how you make the money that would now support those your financial goals. Mm. So what would you consider as best practices in managing um, our income? I mean, we know that um, people earn differently. You have people who earn like 50000 a month and people who earn um, 100000 a month. And like you rightly said, you said that um, my financial needs are different from yours. I probably have just myself that I'm catering for. And then you have someone um, who has like an entire family, probably a family of three or a family of four. But what would you consider as best practices, maybe like a general best practice for different people? We're all different, but then something general that we can all look at to help us manage our income. To start with, there are different classes of investment. Mm. The simplest being money market savings. At least you have to start, just like a baby in... Um, increasing your money or making your money work for you or having that financial discipline to ensure that what you earn is what you spend and there is just some enough for your tomorrow mm -hmm. so you start with savings basic savings and there are different areas different places where you can save the regular bank the financial institutions i heard chinelo talk about uh, come and invest in business there's stock there's real estate there are just different classes of investment, but it actually just starts with savings. Mm. Being disciplined first, to be able to pick some portion out of your money and put aside. And when you put it aside, you start to determine what you need the money for. Recall you would have planned. Mm. It's about budgeting. So you start to put aside for different needs. And that needs now varies per person. Mm. So I've heard, I've heard or seen this um, thing where they talk about um, percentage, um, like ratioing your income monthly, where they say, okay, you're supposed to save 20% of your income, 30% goes to expenses. Um, expenses, you have maybe 10% for emergency funds, and then you have this. I mean, are those like, would you say those are the compulsory things that you need to do to manage your funds? Because I feel like sometimes when you look at it, not everyone can afford to do that in as much as it's also important for you to save for rainy days but um is it set in stone or are there like other forms of ratios that can be used in place of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. as you can see it's mm -hmm. not set yes. in stone yeah. but you have to be disciplined enough 
a mama in the market that maybe makes 10,000 naira after removing or 10,000 naira profit. Mama has children to send to school. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. So how much can mama save? Mm. But mama must put something aside, mm. which means while mama was doing those at business, mama must start to pay herself small, small salary so that it's not only that savings that mama has to put aside. Mm. Mama would have that salary to do all other things. Same also as you go up the ladder, as the money increases, you, what you save, that ratio increases. And as you go older, you, you increase more because you are planning for your retirement where you are old and you are not able to work or generate those income anymore. You should have planned for that raining day. Mm. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, you're the CEO of Kudimata, right? Yeah, so how, how does Kudimata work? Kudimata is a financial community where um, financial education, you have a one-on-one -on -one because for you to, all these questions being asked now, you need advisors. Mm. So on Kudimata, you are able to interact mm. with professionals, experts like me, on money matters who would unhold you through your money journey. You are empowered on Kudimata. You are able to generate because now, ha, one stream of income no work. Oh. <laughs> no one stream of income work. So on Kudimata, you are still empowered. You are able okay. to make money. Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing making your money work for you in 2023. And we have Kathleen with us. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818038466. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa, the hashtag Wayshow. So, I mean, we've talked about a few things, right? You said self, you know, financial goals, your budget, your expectations, when and how. So let's say, for instance, let's paint a scenario, right? I earn 200,000 naira every month, and after my expenses, I'm left with a 50,000 naira salary. Am I qualified? I mean, 50,000 naira maybe savings after I've done all the minuses and all of that. Am I qualified to even think of, uh, what's it called, making that 50,000 naira go into the market and work for me? Or I, had, I need to wait. Okay, so recently, I was, I was watching a documentary and a young man was asked, okay, so why don't you have a bank account? He said, no, 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 say he's never strong. Say he needs, he needs um, what's it called, to have like 150,000 naira or 250,000 naira before he can open a bank account because he wants to channel it to his business. So for him, until he gets that 250,000 naira, he's not thinking of anything, transaction, or he's not thinking like this is time to start a business. But in that same, you know, community you would find that a lot of people with five thousand naira they started because they understood how to multiply the money and it grew and grew and grew grew up to that amount so so the, the reason i'm asking this question is because it's a common mistake that we all make we think that i even make that mistake a lot sometimes you know i think that i need to have a certain amount of money first before i can even venture into certain things but i've seen a lot of people do things with very little you know, you know, there's a book that my pastor wrote, Start With What You Have, Sam Ademi. You know, start with what you have. A lot of people have actually started with what they had and they've grown those businesses. So you are, a, a, you are an advisor, you are someone that, you know, you, you, you're a professional. You can look into somebody's life and say, you know what, I think you can start here. So in that scenario, 200,000, I take out my expenses, I take out everything, and I'm left with a 50,000 naira savings. Can I do anything with it at all? Or I need to wait to have the millions? Can do a lot with fifty thousand, a lot. And when they say savings, banks as as low as one thousand naira you can start to save. That's why we have savings accounting because first you must learn the culture of savings. Mm -hmm. It requires discipline, and to save is a long term process. It's a long term because your goals. Recall you would have planned for this your goal. So we ask for fifty thousand. You can do a regular bank savings. There are different vehicles where you can save. A normal bank or your risk you have to actually know your risk appetite mm. regular bank regular savings interest asset management companies interest rate a little bit more invest in chinelos and company mm. the risk is higher return is more mm. so there are a lot of you have to just imbibe the culture first of saving no matter how low it is or how small just starts mm -hmm. and then it starts to grow. Mm -hmm. Recall I said first 
um, place where you have to start to save or plan for your future is via savings. You have to start with that, closest to cash. Then you go to the next asset class. You can buy some little stock here and there. With that 50, you'll be surprised there are stock in the market that are 119. Mm -hmm. So you are able to, long term, because that money now you are not using. Mm -hmm. So long term, you put it there. Not like some people, just 50,000 naira and they are waiting to buy land mm. and hoping that in future. Yes, I'm not saying not land, but start. Cash. You see that 50, this thing when you're talking now. So when I was in university, now so I carry the, 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 the preach, stock, buy stock. And the stock now is, I'm stuck. Yes. <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't buy the stock. You know, I'm stuck at the stocks. You know, because again, I, I remember taking my savings, I gathered my money, myself, my sisters. So in total, I think, so I got like a thousand shares. She got like a thousand all state trust. I will mention their name because people are owing me money. You know, all state trust bank. And you know, it just did not make sense to me because I, I don't even know what the event. Because again, some of these companies went down. Where I'm going with this conversation? I seen people say, oh, there, there was a time it was it was popular uh, crowd. Okay. Uh, crowdfunding. They will crowdfund to support all these agricultural businesses. There's one in Lekki there that has died. And it so. went with a lot of people's money. Including so. myself. Okay. <laughs> so, first mm -hmm. and foremost, mm -hmm. you need education. You know, we they scream financial inclusion. There is financial inclusion. That's products. So there are various crowdfunding is product. Financial inclusion. Even uh, accounts, they are products for everybody. But you have to have the knowledge. So that's why you must invest in yourself first. Yeah. Financial literacy. And like I said, basic financial literacy, we all need it. Hmm. All of us. Because if you have that, and then you are improving yourself, enhancing your, then you are able to dip when to leave, when not to leave. And before those things went down, it didn't just go down one day. Hmm. It go down one day. Oh, so you'd have timed it. You go time, ma'am, you are aware. Hmm. It's where you put your money, hmm. you go put your mouth. Hey, I want cryptos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> imagine if they are telling you. So you must continually educate. You will be educating yourself. So monitor. Be informed. Monitor. Hmm. So inclusion, yes. So get all the products. Yeah. Literacy, awareness, learn. Just keep learning. Hmm. From mama, learn small. It go. It's simple. Mama put money for savings account and then give you ATM card hmm. and pin to somebody. Money don't save. Money don't go now. Mm -hmm. Of course. But was Mama educated? Mm -hmm. Was she told what to do? Keep them secret. Hide them as the way you they put them for dress. Hide them like that. Now mm -hmm. secrets where your money go save. Mama wasn't told. So that financial literacy would help. And as it goes up, and as you are investing your one, one your your billions, you have to be educated. Not put your money where it's volatile. They don't go once. And your risk appetite will tell you where to put. So mm -hmm. that's... Hi. I mean, they're, they're, oh, okay. they're actually like volatile markets, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to investment. I remember when I started crypto, before I even started <laughs> investing in crypto, I was like... Ah. And because my risk appetite is very high, mm. sometimes I'm ashamed of it. <laughs> <laughs> my father would tell me, call me. Even when I left, I, I, I moved to my own apartment, so I wasn't with my parents anymore. My father would call me. I heard that there is this new money thing. Please don't do it, though. <laughs> I Only me it. out of all my siblings because he knows that once Jennifer hears investment, money, money, this, money. I'm, I'm always trying to increase my income. I'm always trying to just invest here and there because I don't like to leave dormant cash. I don't want to leave money without it actually doing something for me. I can't leave it in my bank account because sometimes it actually like depreciates and I, I, I don't want to do that. And then one thing I did for myself, which I felt like at the initial stage was very important for me was because was that, was that I actually took out time to learn about it. I was reading. See, I would spend a day, I would tell myself, one hour a day, I would open, I will go on YouTube. You have white papers for these, um, for some of these coins that are listed on these crypto platforms, and you actually have to read up on them to fully understand, because the market is volatile. One minute you're hearing that Bitcoin is high, another minute is, they say it's going down, they'll say, okay, hold, or remove your money, or something. I mean, after a while, because... What got too busy for me? Life got very busy. I couldn't, um, I couldn't Follow keep up. Case. Yeah, I couldn't keep up at all. A lot of other people were able to keep up, made so much money from it, but I couldn't keep up. I'm like, yeah, I can't. 
I needed to. I just, mm -hmm. I just, I, I, I so took myself is... out of it because I was like, okay, I'm going to find other means and other ways for me to actually invest my money wisely because that wasn't for me. So there are stable ways to invest. That get rich quick syndrome actually is what keeps people in trouble. Mm. There is just no uh, get rich quickly. Why? Everybody would be rich if it was that easy yeah. and if it actually really worked. There are locks here and there, but it's one step at a time. One investment platform, how you multiply the money, how you increase your revenue, you need to plan and that's how it works. Not today, put one money, tomorrow that money is 100 or 200% increase. increase. Where did they invest that money? Mm -hmm. What did they use that money to do that has generated? So that's the question we start to ask ourselves first. When they tell you invest 100,000, by tomorrow, two days, that your 100,000 has turned 200,000. Hmm. First question, red, pam, pam, pam. red yeah. flags. Yeah. What are they doing with the money? Mm. Everybody's money they've got, Where what are they, are they doing it with to? it? Where are they taking it to? Are they generating this return that they're able to give me double my money? Yes. If you're not able to answer that question, hands up. So let's talk about um, financial mindset. Now, we know that there are some short-term investments and long-term investments. Now, short-term doesn't take time, you get your returns. But now, let's talk about long-term because I feel like long-term is one of the most important ones, especially for people who, who would have kids in the future and you want to save up for that time. Okay. Now, how do people position their mind to actually be very patient because if you're going to do long-term investment, it means that you need to be very patient. It's not, like you said, it's not quick, quick money. How do people, how would you advise people to actually like position their mindset when they start investing for long-term purposes? Okay. So first and foremost, that plan. So I'm going to have two children. I would have to, in my head, know which school they will go to what the school fees would likely be, what increase would likely happen. come on, happen. So you have that amount set, okay? I'm earning 100,000. Um, I need to pay 200,000 in school fees yearly. How much do I set aside on a month-on-month -month basis? So that's what you have to now start to plan and put in, in an investment vehicle. Savings account because it's nearness to cash. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's nearness to cash. And you start to compound your interest. All right? Mm -hmm. So that is given. Say you know about bond the picking, you won't start to save long term. It can be shares. If your money is plenty enough, you can do some bit of real estate. But then when you sell, it depends on when you are selling now. Mm -hmm. All right? If it's not a forced sale, you at least you will get a return. Yeah. Good enough. But if it becomes a forced sale, it has gone. I was telling a friend some time back that people who invested, you know, all this investment vehicle, it depends on you and what you like. You put a, let's say, let me use the big people in Lekki. You say you do a property, a hundred thousand, a hundred million, a property. You chose property, that's why you bought it. That 100 million could have been in money markets. Mm. And that 100 million can, could have been in stock. Would they all give you about the same return at the end of, let's say, 10 mm, yes. years period? Mm. The answer would be most likely yes. Stock may go up or may come down. No, yeah. That stock, depending, or may just even cease to exist. Yeah. Mm. Like the, mine. Re <laughs> <laughs> the real estate property will be there would have appreciated maybe and maybe not depending on the area depending on the area if commercial concerns come within that area it would appreciate if commercial concerns move away from that area your that price you bought it may remain mm -hmm. money market that is which is almost in quotes semi the risk the risk is not that you would earn the same return. So I, I did a 10% um, return on that 100 million. In properties in Lekki, they're going about 200 now. But then you know you would have done maintenance, done all that. That's your 200, your 100 million return 
that you have gotten on that investment is not exactly 200 because you have spent. If it was a money market, average, interest rates have gone up and they've come down. Stay, take an average of 10%. You would have still done that 100 million. But without all the extra... Without all the extra, yeah, uh, yeah. the risk is uh, low. And you get your return. Cash. You want to sell that property. You may not even get it that 200. Mm. But good enough, oh, it's physical, you have it. Or it will take a long time for you to, to sell. To sell, to convert yes. to cash. Yes. So it depends on your stage in life, what exactly you need, and in balancing your portfolio mm. long term. Long term stock, um, real estate, cash is turned around in short term, mm. one, one year. Yeah. That's just so what if I is. have like cash now, what you are saying, what I'm hearing you say is, Put it into all those because uh, there are there those... three vehicles yes it depends on your stage in life okay. so it can fit into any vehicle and depending on the amount and your risk capital so yeah tell us now what are these three vehicles and cash okay real estate stock easy hmm. okay so if so i want can... to invest my cash as raw cash i don't want to put it in real estate or whatever what are the channels to 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 go through cash should i focus on just savings uh, doing savings accounts. That one won't give me too much money now. So, so Kathleen has a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's why I drew close to her. I said, oh my God, why did I know you all my life? <laughs> so the thing is, both kids are graduating from the university mm. in the UK. And she had, she, you know, this money for their mm. school fees, their university, mm. she had saved it many years. It's, it was just there waiting. So all the while we were shouting, she's not a human being. No. She's not normal like us. <laughs> because all the while we were shouting, say, ah, dollar don't go up, dollar no go up. The thing no concern her. Because she had saved all that money years ago in the exact full amount for all the tuition for both children in the university. I said, who does that? Wow. You know? So you, that kind of discipline, was it just savings alone you were doing? Or is there something more that somebody needs to be doing? Because right now, I feel like you're superhuman. No, one stream of income is not That's enough right. now. Mm. And then you must learn to cut your cost. Kathleen will not buy a shwebi. Ooh. Mm. Never. I will never buy a shwebi. <laughs> so that money will never go into a shwebi. It's going into school fees. See this, my chain? Mm. It's all around that. One nation. One nation. <laughs> the area, one nation. So I won't be buying. So you need to understand. That's why I said you plan. Mm. You need to understand yourself and what your financial goals are. And start to set aside those funds. Those are your plans. And your long-term plans, your short-term plans, what you need money for. So let me, let me, when I was living in rented apartment, my salary then, they pay salary and then they pay upfront. Mm. People used to ask me, Kathleen, you they stay for Ikoi? Or what my upfront was for rent. Me and my husband will put together, we use money for other things, but that upfront, I don't plan for anything. It's for just rent. When there's no just no, there's just no need looking. So you have to just plan your finances, put it in the proper bucket and plan. Mm. Long term. I want to marry. Um seeing money now, buying us will be doing uh, bone straight but why? Mm. Put some aside. Yeah. Bread. Put all those money because they are tr manage your cost. When you manage your cost and look for additional streams of income, mm. your employer may not, as an employee, mm -hmm. may not allow you to do all that. But if I they bake cake, they sell. My employee wants to make and not sell cake. Mm. Mm. So that's where the that cake now. Comes in. Your hand, yes, you must have something. something yes. Else. You must do other things. One stream of income in our Nigeria today. In other words. Not even like. two. Mm. Three, four, five. And there are a lot of things you can do online now that generates income. Mm -hmm. mm. You do them. You mm. start to put them in bucket. Your secular job is your secular job. Mm. But there must be more streams of income mm. now. And to start to save for that, those things that you have planned that you want to do. Recall, not because my neighbor wear this or buy this, I go go buy it. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You must know that. Chino is our plug. Mm, yeah. Don't worry, we are mm. cutting down costs. You heard some of the conversation. Because beauty, <laughs> beauty is expensive. <laughs> too. But, so now we have abandoned the people in the country. We have gone to the mainland. <laughs> As you see, look, because again, I, I, I hear you honestly, and that's the truth. We, 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 there are some expenses that you cannot. 
touch mm. because it is a constant expense you you know and all but there are some things you can really trim on and i think again it's more with women you know even though i've seen a lot of men that are very mm -hmm. very you know Vain. men wear Vain. shoes though ah, ah, shoes. Shoes. one Vain man swashes one man can fill my entire shoe closet so, so they do but as the woman or the girlfriend or the person around you are, you help them mm. manage those mm. things you're not competing with anybody mm. yeah if you know that they are you are on your own and nobody cares whether you wear it or you don't wear it really if you have that mindset so it's the right attitude to your finances that you need that right attitude nobody really cares now when you get person they talk to you mm. you have now and you don't have sorry yes. everybody go jack bash that's, that's the word yes <laughs> yes so you must plan yourself so that at any point in time they don't jackman leave you mm. you must hold your own <laughs> absolutely ha, mm. Tinelli, we have a comment <laughs> jelly baby mm. okay. are you seeing what i'm seeing <laughs> you are hearing <laughs> good evening my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying hashtag ways making your money work for you in 2023 your guest made mention of savings to save we need to deny ourselves of so many things and apply discipline Early savings has an advantage. It causes us, because it make okay, because it makes us to gather enough funds for our future budgets and targets. Trust me, salary earners cannot meet up with their budgets and targets. That is why they must go an extra mile for additional hustling. That is why it is good to have a very good business. My name is Daniel Ilo, Ways regular fan. Thank you Daniel, so much. Daniel, thank you so much. I mean, so we are wrapping up the conversation we have like a minute so if you had a counsel to give anybody like you want advice person now say oh yeah now is the time um with the harsh economy right nigeria is really tough on us fuel prices going up landlord is busy sending us letter of 100 percent rent increment you know so it, it's it's like it's hitting everywhere yeah. and if especially if when you are like in the rented apartment it seems like all the problem of this what they want to bring it on your head landlord needs more money he would come to you the electricity is drawing from you, um, fuel is drawing from you, your, your right hailing services, food, everything is just really high. So how, where would be a good place for, for such a person that just feels like everything is taking away my money from me? Where would be a good place for the person to start? Self-management, hmm. self-discipline. Cut away excesses. There are excesses, trust me. Cut them away. There is always something you can't save. And you can start to always really always always ha you know sometimes i feel like all the money i've made if i really want to <laughs> it's true now I, so i don't know and so nothing is too small to start to say nothing is you too advise small. piggy banks that's where you start okay from your house mm. your piggy even your children you teach them the savings culture mm. they start to put small small my daughter ivana have uh, if I tell you how much, and every day she comes to meet me, mommy, how much? Mm. Okay, go and put it in the bank. Mm. Go and put it in, as ah, small. So you teach them that say, uh, aunties, uncles give them money. So they learn to save from them. Mm. And then they learn to spend within what their family's income is. Children actually push parents out of the, of, of the ladder. Yeah. My neighbor, they did this. So you want to please that child. No, no, no. Children must understand family finance. Mm. Mm. Must and I like what she just said. Mm -hmm. I think understanding my family finance was one of the ways I was able to build contentment in terms of finances. And I think even as young kids, there was something I remember something my dad said was profoundly. I think during Christmas, he took all of us shopping. My sisters and I we all went shopping. He bought us clothes, complete full wear. That's my father jersey shoes everything and we were just so happy and we hugged him we were like ah daddy thank you so much and then one thing he said to us when we went back home he was like that one of the reasons why i love you my children is that you never ask for more than i can give you mm -hmm. and whenever i give you something you are yeah. always content it. with it yeah. and that really stuck with me and growing up i've just lived by that value and it has always always wow. always worked for me well, my mother and my father will give you this <laughs> Hey, when well, you have nine children, whether you like it or not, contentment must be with you. Must, and you must not collect money from other people. That's why you see a ah. lot of people now have a running into problems. My yeah. mother, no, do I all could not, yes, you, you, you could not bring anything new to my house, even at, sec, at university level. Mm -hmm. My father I'll will ask you, questions. who bought you this dress? Yes. You can't. Not nowadays, somebody will bring car. How? 
Hmm. Oh, on that note, we are going to 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 twerk because we are we are bringing Kathleen, Kathleen all year round. We have to keep on talking about these things. But thank you so much, Kathleen. We had a fantastic conversation. Thank you, Chinelo. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us on Instagram and um, all our social media platforms at Wish Your Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed today's quote, it again. Ha, huh. it just ties into what Kathleen said. Say, so when money realizes that it is in good hands, ah, it wants to stay and multiply in those hands. You see, huh? so you must, it starts with you, it starts with self. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy.